Hello crafty friends, welcome to another Emboss Like a Boss video. Today we'll be dry embossing and heat embossing on vellum to create this clean and simple sending love card. To start the process I picked this leafy embossing folder because I thought the design would look stunning embossed in gold on vellum. So first off, I dusted my embossing folder and vellum with corn flour to remove any static and grease and then I brushed off the excess flour with a microfiber cloth. Using a Versamark reinker, I added embossing ink to my brayer and then rolled it on my glass mat to ensure my brayer was evenly coated. I then rolled the ink onto the embossing folder, trying to only get the ink on the raised pan and not on the background. I wasn't too concerned though, because I knew I could wipe away any unwanted embossing powder before heating. Next, I added my vellum to the folder and ran it through my cuttle bug. Vellum can sometimes crack when you put pressure on it this way, but this piece came out fine. If you have trouble with cracking and tearing, you could try spritzing your vellum with a fine mist of water before placing it in the embossing folder to see if that helps. Once I'd dry embossed the vellum, I dipped it in bright gold embossing powder, wiped off any stray bits with a paper towel and then melted it with my heat tool. I love this part of the process, it is so mesmerising to watch. I didn't want the whole piece of vellum for my card, so I cut it down using a rectangle die. And then I cut a piece of white cardstock using the next size up die. After that, I used the two dies to create a frame, which I glued onto the white rectangle. My plan was to stick the vellum inside the frame, so I ran it through my larger Xyron sticker maker to make it sticky on the back, and then I added this to my frame piece to create a sort of window, which I then placed in the top left-hand corner of my card blank, using my T-square ruler to make sure it was straight. To embellish my window, I die cut a butterfly from white cardstock and gold cardstock. I then used mini glue dots to stick the bodies of the two butterflies together, slightly offset so that the gold butterfly was still visible beneath the white butterfly. I then glued the whole butterfly to the bottom of my vellum window so it looked like it was fluttering up the card. For a sentiment I chose a scripty font stamp that says sending love and I stamped it in black ink so that it would stand out amongst all that gold. And then I cut it into a rectangle using my guillotine and ran an embossing tool around it to mimic the edges that you get with an actual die cut. I 
I added the sentiment near the butterfly to create a cluster and then I reinforced that cluster with some gold Nouveau drops. I also added some gold Nouveau drops to the body of the butterfly to give it some dimension and to make it a different colour from the wings. And that's this card finished. It didn't take long and I love the effect of gold heat embossing on dry embossed vellum. It's so eye-catching and sumptuous. I think that's the only word for it, sumptuous. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you back here very soon. Bye for now.